Welcome back to the School of Civil Engineering. This is Hayatullah with another new video of CSSF 2000 version 20. As we have started CSSF 2000 tutorial series and this is all lesson 6 and in this lesson I have just told you that I will sh show that how will analysis a frame. So here I have selected a frame and I will analyze that frame and we will find out its deflection. We will find out its shear force diagram and also its moment diagram i mean bending moment diagram so let's start and before starting if you're new to our channel then please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every civil engineering update ever first so first of all you have to open that software and after that i'll just simply click here new model and from here i will click greet only and before that you have to set your unit as per your data so I'll open that model. So here, if you see that your uh, load in kilonewton and distance, I mean your length is in meter unit. So I'll just come here and from here I'll select kilonewton meter, right? Kilonewton meter C Celsius. So it's done. After that, I'll click here grid only. Okay, I'll click here grid only. So I'll just simply click here. Now here. You have to see how much grit will be in x direction so in x direction we will consider only two grit one and two right one and two two grit in x direction we will consider two grit fine so we'll give her two and for y direction it will be one because uh, they have only one line and in z direction i mean in sorry in In y direction, so the top direction is y direction, there will be 1 and here will be 2 and here will be 3. Okay, for that line, we we'll consider 1 and here we will consider 2 and here we will consider 3. Are clear? So, for that, I'll just give a uh, 3. So, it is done. Now, for uh, the spacing between grid, what will the uh, spacing between the two grid, what will be actually? So distance is from that point to that that line to that line. This is three meter and two meter. That means five meter. That means five meter. But in y direction, no need to change because they have only one a uh, grid. And uh, for z direction, there we have to do something. They have only one. We can define only one distance, but we need. Here we need two different distance. The first one is five, and from A to D. If I come here to understand it clearly, so here from that line to that line, here only one grid, right? Here only one grid, and if we come here. Here is another grid, and here is another grid, the three grid. Now, from here to here, that is 5 meter, and from that grid to that grid, that will be total 7 div, uh, minus 5, that means 2. So, it will be 2, that means our two different value. But uh, I'll just simply, first of all, I'll give a ordinary value, it's 3. Okay, consider that 3, we'll change that later right so when it's done and our grid line location that will be 0 0 0 then simply click ok so now see here here it's also 5 here also 5 we'll change that we'll uh, take it in exit direction right we'll take it in exit direction so here the both distance are not same right both distance are not same so i'll right click in that here and uh, edit grid data and then select global and modify and uh, in y direction Okay, we will first of all consider a spacing. Okay, here is spacing. So, for y direction, uh, what will be the first distance? That was 2, right? And that was 5. Are you clear? That is 2. Z on. I mean, from Z on to Z2, that is 2. From here to here, that is 2. As per our figure. From uh, that line to, sorry, here. From uh, D to A, that is 2. And from A to B, that is 5. 
so I'll just give it 2 then 5 then 0 right so it is done now uh, and that is pressing is okay I'll simply click okay and okay just see here just we have changed right when it have changed now we have to draw a beam okay and for that I'll just take here our will take line will uh, do not consider any I mean we'll consider any types of section it's not fat cost will not consider itself but when will analysis so if, uh, as per our from that A to B then B to C then C to D then I'll just come here here is our A point A to B then B to C and C to D okay this is done now here we have to define support here and here so here is our fixed and here is our pinned so for that point I have selected then I'll go here assign sorry assign joint restrained and from here I'll select fixed then apply so here is your fixed support here or fixed support and after that I'll select here and that will be pinned and I'll apply that's done right our both frame are okay now what we'll do actually after that finally we have to define our load pattern and for dead load I'll just give it zero why zero you know from our previous lecture and I'll modify that means it is zero then okay because if we give zero then the self weight of that frame will not be considered only our uh, applied it load will be considered so first of all in that section a to b i will assign our uniformly varying load so at point a that is zero and at point b that is five kilonewton so i'll just close that i'll select that on okay and uh, first of all you have to remember this is the x direction okay so we have to give value in x direction okay so i'll just come here assign then frame load then distributed load and from here that is not gravity okay not gravity that is in x direction right this is coordinate system global x direction and that will be force right and uh, we can uh, take that option replace existing load okay replace existing load so here uh, first uh, after that we'll select that option absolute distance so when zero then load is zero and when five i mean from the uh, here the first point when zero then i'll load zero when five then i'll load how much at uh, distance a from b is five so at distance five our load is also five actually that is the simple way to define load so it is done simply click apply just see here our model is ready right our model is ready now here we have to provide a point load so i'll just close that after that i'll select it and after that i'll come here assign here frame load then point load similarly and there here we have to give load and that is 10 kN in gravity the duration of gravity and also the distance from a to that 10 keep load is 3 meter so i'll just come here and from here i'll uh, take absolute distance okay and when our at distance gravity that is okay at distance 3 our load will be 10 okay and then apply just see here it's okay so i'll just click okay and that load are available also here so if you right click just see here the load here is your distributed force and here that load are also available so finally it's done now what we'll do actually we'll come here we'll just click that option run analysis and i'll just 
do not run that model will or run only for dead load and click run and before that you have to save so uh, frame analysis one we'll save that after that wait so see here this is your model and this is the deflection shape of our model okay so if you come here you can see the animation <coughs> so after that I will just uh, come here display then here show forces then joint forces for dead load arrow then apply just see here this is for upward and this is uh, for opposite direction of X and this is for upward of reaction and this is for X direction so this is our reaction of our frame after that I will close and I will go ahead display for sorry display show frame cable or tendons so from here I will just come here share first for force for dead lot apply just see here here is the moment diagram okay this is the moment diagram uh, sorry this is the shared diagram and if you see that in 3d just see here this is the moment diagram right this is the moment diagram and after that if you come here for sorry I'm extensive this is for shared diagram and here if I click this is the moment diagram and if I come here and if I take it in show value so this is moment diagram and uh, this is both a moment diagram so you see here you can easily find out the moment diagram of it right just see here uh, at fixed support we will get use moment here have used moment but at pinch we will not get any moment that's why they have no moment so I think uh, that's okay to you that how you will So that is the process for that work and I hope you will be able to do that okay you will be able to do that for your work and uh, I hope it's okay and if you think that that is really okay then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon and must share that video with a friend who need that and also thanks for being with me and I hope you have already subscribed my channel because uh, your subscription, your like, your comment inspires for the next work. So thank you. Thank you very much. Stay connected to the next video.